our health and wellness ministry here at 41 Moldova Road. And October is being observed as Breast Cancer Awareness Month across the globe. And today we just want to honor those that have taken, those that have passed on. We just want to support those that are still in the fight and we want to celebrate the champions. And this morning, uh, it's a privilege and an honor for me to be speaking with a breast cancer survivor and she is one of our own. <laughs> Sister Lakeisha Walker. Sister Walker. What was life like for you before your diagnosis? So before, good morning church. Before the diagnosis, I lived a normal, healthy, active lifestyle. I was an avid 5K walk run participant. I ate healthy. I did what I was supposed to do. I did my regular screenings. But then I remember in 2020, in October to be exact, I was taking a shower and I felt something in my right breast that I know it wasn't supposed to be there. Mm. So I did my follow-up, I went to my doctor, did the necessary scans and it came back. The results came back in November of the same year and I was diagnosed with invasive ductal carcinoma at stage two. So it was early detection, so I did what I had to do. It's good that you were observing your body. So, after your diagnosis, how did you cope? It was rough. It came as a shock. I knew how to handle people with cancer, because my mother, she passed a couple years ago, so I knew what cancer, I know the devastating, how it makes people feel and but it came as a shock to me. I won't say it was easy. But once you are diagnosed, you have to have a village. That's right. And my village rallied around me. I had my husband as my number one caregiver. He supported me through it all, through treatment, through surgery. My husband is a superman. Well done, well done, Sir Walker. Continue supporting your victorious wife. So, how is it for you now, living on this victorious side of the journey? Hallelujah. I and love how you say victorious side. Yes, we are victorious in the Lord. And what, how would you encourage a young woman who is somewhat hesitant in getting screened for any form of cancer, but in particular breast cancer? Living on the victorious side is a blessing. It's a blessing. And ladies, Please be observant. Observe, feel, it's your body. It's best when you're in the shower, because you know, when you lather up, it becomes slippery, so you, your hands can navigate over your body. Right. Do yourself checks, it's important. Know your body. Get your screening done. Follow up with your doctor, do not be afraid. Guess what? Cancer is not a death statement. It's not a death sentence. Amen. You can live and you can overcome it. Once it's detected and once you do your follow-up treatments, I did not miss a beat. Ensure you have a village because once you have that support, you can make it. Bless but the Lord. don't be afraid. I had to face that journey. I was not alone. I felt the prayers of the church. My village was there for me. If you think you don't have somebody close to you, grab a neighbor, grab a friend, buy a friend because you need the support. Excellent. Support is key. Very good. There you have it, church. Our own Sister Lakeisha Walker, a breast cancer champion, and she shared her story with us today. Sister Walker, continue to be that champion. Continue to observe your body. And ladies, this is a message for us all. Observe your bodies. It's your body. No one else is closer to it than you. Feel your breasts. It's yours. And there you have it. Hers was detected early, and so she's a champion today. You can do the same. God bless you all. God bless, bless you, you Sister Wayne.